Okay, good day everyone. I'm going to show you today how to install the uh, AM32 bootloader on an Artery Tech MCU. And this also includes erasing and resetting the option bytes to make the ESC writable. Uh, so there's a few things you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need to download the free version of uh, the uh, Kyle IDE for ARM processors. And then you're going to need to download the uh, Artery Tech AT32 bootloader from uh, Alchemotor's GitHub. Then you'll need to run the software pack for the Artery Tech MCUs to install into Kyle. And once that's done, you can open up the AM32 bootloader project. And if you try to flash an ESC that's locked, you'll just get an error message that the uh, flash is, uh, it can't be erased. You see, it says erase failed. So what we need to do is go to options for target one, go to debug, settings, flash download. We're going to remove the flash algorithm for the main flash memory and add the flash algorithm for the user system data. Then you can just flash, download the project. It'll give you an error for, uh, message that the verification failed, but you can ignore that. Then we want to go back to options. Now the option bytes have been uh, reset to default and the ESC is writable. So we're going to remove that one, add the flash algorithm for the main flash memory. And now you can, uh, if you want, build the project and download it to the ESC. And that is it. Um, so then, now that the bootloader is done, you need to power cycle the ESC and then you can go to the uh, ESC config tool and do the rest from there. So we'll connect to the ESC. If we're on the flash tab, it should say connected, no EEPROM. So then we just pick our uh, firmware hex file. And flash normally. So that is a way that you can upload the bootloader and change option bytes without having to have an AT link. So good luck and I hope that works for everybody.